Hello folks, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. Uh, hope you guys are having an amazing day today. As you can see behind me guys, I've got my El Rey smoker, uh, Veronica. I named her Veronica. And I've got a, a couple of turkeys that I'm going to be smoking. Um, I'll be making a video on that. And I'm also going to be doing some uh, pork belly burnt ends. So I'm going to show you... Um, actually, I won't be showing the cook on this video. I just want to show you guys what I do to uh, light my offset smoker. Um, I get some questions on how to how to light it, how to regulate the temperature, uh, etc. So I want to show you guys uh, what I do, um, the entire process, and and um, leveling leveling out my temperatures. So what I have back here, guys, um, I don't know if you guys have seen my video where I introduced my smoker, but this is a uh, big El Rey smoker, and got the firebox right here. I already cleaned that out, and what I used to clean that out, guys, is just a, a fire pit shovel. You can see there. And I just shoveled it all out and put it inside with this little ash can. Okay. So I keep that next to my fire pit. If I'm doing a long cut, like I do a uh, brisket, it's like for 16, 17 hours, um, I will empty out the ashes because they start to collect on the bottom right here and prevents the air from actually going in okay so um you can see this basket guys it does have this um this plate in the middle and i actually when i uh, bought this smoker i spoke to the owner uh, ravi that built it for me and um he says he only uses the left side or he's used just one side and that's what i do you know i take his recommendation obviously so what i'm going to do guys i've got some charcoal already i'm going to pull this out just a little bit just like that okay and i've got some charcoal over here here's my dog ranger he's always by my side so a lot of people will use a propane torch to get their char uh, charcoal started or their wood started um, but I, I prefer to use charcoal and I use my propane um, tank. This is actually a turkey fryer base. It's got a pretty good flame on it. Um, so I put my charcoal inside the um, charcoal basket and let that go for a minute with the flame on. And then just turn it off and it catches. Okay, it catches by itself. So that charcoal is ready to go. As you can see there. So I'm going to grab a leather glove here so I don't burn my myself and burn my arm hairs. Okay. I'll just grab this basket. And it is ready to go. This basket, guys, has this handle right here. And if I pull that towards me, um, it will release the charcoal. Okay. So, but for this, and I guess I could get a smaller basket, but uh, this is why I wear the leather glove, guys, so I don't Number one, burn myself because I will be dumping this. I won't be opening the, the hatch on the bottom, this one here. I'm just going to go in there and tip it in and try to put it all on this left side of this basket. Okay? So here we go. Okay. And that's it. So I will get my shovel and push this basket in there fire basket make sure it's nice and centered and I will spread this charcoal around just on the left side just to create a nice little bed okay just like so and so I, I haven't I haven't used this since my last cook so the, the exhaust is closed right there so I'll come and open it and it is open right there Let's see if I can take you guys up there see the, the damper there see that so it's open there and obviously that means that the smoke can go through so at this point guys to regulate my temperature obviously I'm not just gonna put charcoal in there I got to put a couple of splits of wood and I've got three small pieces here just to get me started so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just this big piece here Okay. Just like so. And 
this other small piece just like that okay and i'm going to leave the door open okay just leave it open that way the smoke um, starts to go through the uh, the smoker the pit and out the exhaust now during a cook when i'm actually cooking something like i will be later um, if I drop a new split of wood in there, I'll actually leave the door open for probably a couple of minutes. Let that let the uh, log catch um, because I don't want to create or my food to have a a sooty taste to it, if you will. Um, you know, you want a nice clean smoke. So I'll even open the door sometimes. Um, as you can see, guys, that that got going really really quick. That's uh, oak that I'm using there, and it's already it's already catching really good. You can see the smoke coming out the firebox. I'm okay with that, and you'll see it start to come out the exhaust here. Okay, there's obviously more coming out over there because I got the firebox open. But as that wood catches, I will start to close the door a little bit more to let the smoke go through the uh, the uh, pit itself. You can see in a short period of time, guys, we're already at 100 degrees on the left side and about 90 degrees on the left side. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be taking off this plate here. I'm not gonna be using this. So. Actually, I might be using it later. You'll have to watch the cook to see what I'm gonna do with that. So I opened up the door, guys, just to, again to let the smoke go through. And you can see the grates are a little bit dirty from the briskets I cooked the last time. And I will come in and brush that out uh, once it's nice and hot so it releases the, uh, so the, the grease on there starts to melt off a little bit. Okay. So that wood is completely engulfed over there. So I'm going to close the doors and start closing the firebox door a little bit. You can see that that wood is on fire. Okay. So what I do at that point, guys, is once it catches right around there, I'll just leave the door not shut. Just close it, but not shut. Okay, make sure my intake is open 100%, as you see here. When I'm cooking, guys, I'm cooking about like that on the intake. But right now, I want maximum air to go through. That's going to force more smoke to go through the pit. And again, out the exhaust. Okay. Now, since I just lit that wood, obviously there's going to be a ton of smoke. But once this thing gets going, guys, it's it's efficient. I use about one split every hour when I'm smoking, and that'll maintain a temperature of about 275. So it's not bad, guys. Um, so a 17-hour brisket, I'll use 17 splits of wood plus maybe two to get it going. So a total of 19. Uh, splits of wood for a 17 hour cook uh, this cook guys on these turkeys I'm smoking two turkeys um, should be about four and a half maybe five hours I know the uh, um, pork belly burnt ends I'm doing I'm probably gonna take around that long so plan on using these two splits that I already put in there plus probably uh, five or six more and that's it so very efficient you can see I have my firewood stacked up over there alongside my house so guys at this point I will shut the door okay just shut it like that intake 100% open okay that way I get more air into the smoker and now all of the smoke is going to be coming out of the stack here the exhaust but since the intake is 100% open I'm I'm forcing air, more air than usual, to go through the through the pit itself, but I want it to get nice and hot in there. 
and just to show you how efficient this smoker is guys or how accurate it is this side is going on 135 and this side is going on 135 as well 130 it's moving up to 135 so the temperatures are going to be equal on both sides that's why I took out that tray because this uh, temperature probe on the right side it hits right where that tray was at and that tray guys is good for if you're finishing off some chicken I might put that tray on um, for my pork, uh, pork belly burnt ends just to finish them off on that on that shelf so I'll put that shelf in there and uh, finish them off on that top shelf but I'm already at 150 on the left and 150 on the right my target temperature guys for my turkeys is gonna be 275 okay so I'll show you what I do here um, in fact uh, let's take a short break guys and once this gets to 275 uh, I will bring you guys back so stay tuned all right folks we're back so it's been about 30 minutes since I started the um, the fire pit and I'm already at 275 maybe 280 so shot it over a little bit and that is because I've got my intake 100% open so at this point I got to start regulating the intake to level out my temperature or keep it from rising and I know that guys on my smoker I'm looking for a triangle shape on the left side here so you can see that there and just a little bit less than that right there gives me 275 and that's because I've smoked on my smoker before so what I recommend for those of you guys that are still trying to figure out your fire pit keep the exhaust 100% open all the time never regulate your temperature with the exhaust um, always have the exhaust 100% open and to me it doesn't matter if you've got a pellet smoker an offset smoker a drum smoker always run with your exhaust open there's gonna be people on here that uh, will say otherwise but uh, trust me with my experience guys and I've been smoking meats for a long long time um, you've got to run with your exhaust wide open and regulate your your intake and control your temperature that way so um, again guys this is what I did um, when I first got this smoker I didn't cook anything I just wanted to get to know my smoker and uh, before you cook get to know your smoker and how to regulate your temperatures how to get 275 how to get 250 how to get 300 how to get 350 if you need to so that's what I did um, and I and again I know that that um, with the intake open just that much I'm gonna get 275 and yes it will bounce around as the wood burns off you'll go down to around 250 maybe 230 and you have to just leave it alone guys don't don't mess with the intake just let it do what it does and um, when you drop a new split uh, your temperature will jump up a little bit it might go to 280 it might go to 285 290 that's okay as it starts to burn down it'll regulate around 275 but um, you know just uh, get to know get to know your smokers guys and and uh, that's the only recommendation that I have but guys this is what I do to get my smoker going as you can see I've already fallen down to 270 okay and that will jump up a little bit um, and and that's where I want to be for the turkeys that I'm gonna smoke guys so uh, the, the temperature is right where I want it to be there's the inside the cavity I already brushed the grates guys and I'm not gonna lay anything on the grates I'm gonna actually put everything on the tray um, and again if you want to watch those videos uh, please do and uh, thanks for watching guys again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so hit the like button and uh, hit that little bell so you know when I load up a uh, new video as well. And uh, again, good luck, guys. Hope these guys uh, hope this helps some of you guys that are trying to figure out your your smokers. But uh, again, this is what I do to get my uh, offset smoker going. So thanks for watching, guys. See you.